The massive construction of the Great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam continues despite sometimes angry protests from Egypt at issue diverting this part of the Blue Nile since May. The recently ousted Egyptian government feared the diversion would impact the Nile river flow, on which it is heavily dependent. All of this will be a reservoir with 74 billion cubic meters of Nile waters. Ethiopia says it will gradually fill the reservoir in the coming years, leaving Egypt questioning how the reservoir can be filled without affecting the water flow, especially during periods of drought. Semenyu Bekele, one of the dam's project managers, says better water management by both Egypt and Ethiopia will be the key. The water will flow. Uh, through uh, this, uh, this uh, culverts permanently and that uh, culverts will be part of the dam which will be embedded, uh, which will have gates and uh, during uh, any low flow the water will pass through that culverts because it will be installed at the normal river bed level. We will not change the normal river bed level. Ethiopia is proceeding with construction even as environmental experts and diplomats continue to work out Nile River resource management among affected countries. The Great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will make Ethiopia Africa's biggest power exporter in the next four years, producing 6,000 megawatts of hydroelectric power. The dam will be 1,708 meters long, 145 meters high and will be equipped with two powerhouses. Potential buyers of the electricity include Somalia, Uganda and even possibly Egypt. The dam will be completed in 2017 at a cost of close to $5 billion.